This is a short but uh, very serious uh, message for uh, every believer. And uh, it's based on this question How is your relationship with Jesus going? Uh, I've presented this question uh, quite a few times lately because that is what our faith is about it's a relationship with Jesus. And in a relationship, uh, there is two way communication. So, so the, the additional question could then be, how does he speak to you? And you may say, well, he speaks um, through the Bible, through his word. Uh, which is, is hopefully so. Uh, he speaks through, uh, through others sometimes. Through a brother or sister, or even through unbelievers, he may speak. He speaks maybe through events that happen. Natural uh, events or other things that happen in your life that uh, get your attention. Uh, or he speaks through nature. All that is true and happens, but um, the most obvious we often don't mention. And that is that he speaks directly. The way I speak to you now. This, the way we all speak to each other. And... Um, yeah, we often uh, totally miss that. In John 10, verse 4 and 5, uh, Jesus says, uh, And the sheep, they follow him. Talking about the good shepherd, which is he himself. The sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger will they not follow, but they will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. So, if you're one of his sheep, and he's your shepherd, and you're following Jesus, then, um, by implication, you should know his voice. So this is another question I would like to pose. Do you know his voice? Are you his sheep? And is it true what he says here, that you do not know the voice of strangers? And you may say, what is the voice of strangers? Who are, the, who are they? Well, these are the voices of the world. It can be many things, music, fashion, sports, work, hobbies, uh, friends, uh, maybe secular friends, eh? uh, sports events, uh, games, races, uh, parties, concerts, foods, drinks, relationships, social media. There are many voices that um, are around us. And so, can you really hear Jesus' voice among all this noise? The reality is that we often know the voice of strangers very well, and we do not flee from them, as Jesus says. When did Jesus last speak to you? Think about it. And what did he say? So, many questions that I throw in here, uh, I realize, but we should have uh, an answer to these questions. Do you think Jesus wants to have a place among all these other things? In John 10, verse 27, he says, My sheep hear my voice. They hear my voice. In other words, they listen to it. It's not only knowing Jesus' voice, that's the first hurdle, but uh, secondly, to hear it and to listen to it. And in John 18, verse 37, he says, Everyone that is of the truth heareth my voice. Are you of the truth? Do you hear his voice? We should not only know his voice, we should hear it. Do you hear him? And I'm not talking about intuition. I'm not talking about a feeling as uh, you, know, you hear so often, oh, I prayed about this or that and I feel at peace. So that must be an answer from the Lord. That's not what I mean. I mean his voice. Do, do you hear him speak? And if not, you should be concerned. Why is our faith so miserable that we cannot even hear the voice of the one we claim to follow? That we do not even know his voice? What kind of a bride are we to not know, uh, and let alone listen to the voice of our groom? Why? Because we listen to all the other voices all the time. And we leave no space for Jesus in our heart. It's, uh, it's like uh, a vessel that is filled with all kinds of stuff. Jesus does not fit in there. 
And the first miracle that Jesus performed um, in his ministry um, is the, the miracle at the wedding in Cana, where water was uh, turned into wine. And there were these six pots there, water pots. And before the miracle happened, Jesus uh, um, instructed to have them completely filled to the brim. And that water is, of course, a, a type for the Holy Spirit. And it sees it has to be filled completely. Not half, that there is room for other things, but completely to the brim. Then the miracle can happen. And there were six water pots. And, of course, six is the number of men. It really is a metaphor for for man, for you and me, we have to be filled completely with him in order for for the miracles to happen, in order for, um, for him to work. So everything else must go out. Romans 8 verse 13, uh, Paul writes, Mortify the deeds of the body, of the flesh. We have to mortify them, let them die, it has to go out. Jesus is not going to take a back seat. He's not going to sit next to or behind uh, all the other things that uh, we might be uh, interested in. He's either on the throne or he's out. He cannot be Lord without having full Lordship. He cannot be King without having Kingship. If you leave a bit of anything, it will grow like a cancer and destroy everything. Now, we're waiting for the rapture, uh, many of us are uh, anyway, and uh, we're expecting it soon. And 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16 says that uh, the Lord will come with a shout. And um, in the parallel verses in um, uh, Isaiah 26, um, God says, hey, come up my people to your rooms. We read this also in Revelation uh, 4, verse 1. Eh? Voice from heaven, come up hither. Uh, the, point, the question is again, will we hear it? Will we know his voice? Will we recognize this call? And I'm afraid many won't. There will not be these uh, mass disappearances as many uh, expect. Um... Jesus says in Matthew 7, there will be only a few, only a few. And this is really sobering uh, and, and maybe a tragic realization for many believers. Uh, the sad reality is that many, many of us uh, Christians uh, and so-called Christians, many of us don't know his voice. We don't hear his voice and we're not even listening to his voice. And this is really a massive problem that should concern us all and so i just wanted to give this uh, this shout out to uh, to point you to this and uh, yeah re re uh, review the the relationship that you have with jesus and uh, seek him seek him uh, with all your heart and all your soul and all your mind and uh, tune yourself to him and you will hear his voice and uh, learn to know his voice mortify all the other things we don't need them we don't want them um, he will call soon and we better make sure that we will hear his voice thanks for listening amen